The Halbertech is Leaning's newest racket series and the Halbertech 8000 is the first racket of this new series. It falls within Leaning's control category of rackets and this 8000 model is a high-end model, so this should be interesting. If you want to understand Leaning's full racket series breakdown, I've done a video about it recently and we'll link it up here and in the description below. I also want to say thank you to Leaning Studio for letting me test this racket, so remember to use my CKYW discount code if you're shopping with them. At first at first glance, I really like how the Halbertech 8000 looks. Leaning officially called the Halbertech 8000's colour scheme as pink and green, but I personally think it's closer to turquoise. Plus, this turquoise is holographic as well. You all know I have a thing for matte rackets and this is certainly one that hits the sweet spot. The pink and turquoise works really well symmetrically on the racket and even the cone of the racket reflects this symmetry when one side is pink whilst the other is in, you guessed it, turquoise. Another thing that I noticed immediately that this Halbertech 8000 possesses a fully recessed frame profile. I get very excited when I see that in rackets because that means we should be getting a smooth swing in, fast, high speed racket. With Leaning pushing the Halbertech to be a control racket series focusing on repulsion and good feel, you can tell why this is worth getting excited about. In terms of paint job and finishing, the 8000 shows off Leaning's usual high standard of racket design and finishing with lots of shiny decals and a futuristic design. I especially like the dotted decal section around the shaft as well as the 5 and 7 o'clock region of the racket. Do keep nice paint jobs like these looking good with the premium racket protection tape at ckyw.com forward slash shop. In terms of helping stringers recognize where to start stringing from the top of the racket, the Halbertech 8000 has two nice looking opposing arrows at the 12 o'clock region. Obviously many other manufacturers also do this too, normally with a simple but effective dot or small triangle at the same area. That's where they signal the start of the mains string. It's certainly a small design feature and I'm sure all the stringers out there find these very helpful. I know I do. However, I have noticed that Leaning have changed their grommets on the Halbertech 8000 compared to the previous high-end rackets that I've reviewed such as the X-Force 80 or the Blade X 800. The grommets on the X-Force 80 and the Blade X 800 have a sharper edge and with the usual Leaning logo on. It makes the grommets look pretty premium and high quality. The grommets on the Halbertech 8000 on the other hand have a more rounded edge and also sporting the Leaning logo but I certainly thought it looked a little less premium. Another thing that I noticed visually was I thought the cone felt a little larger than usual, but having put a few rackets together side by side, they were almost identical in length, if not only ever so slightly larger, but maybe because of the white on it, which made it look a little bit bigger than usual. In terms of specs, I measured the handle length to be 17cm, which is normal, but coincidentally, it's the same handle length for the newly released Blade X 900 Max racket as well. Make sure you subscribe to know when I publish my review for it next. The handle is connected to a shaft of 21cm in length alongside a diameter of 7mm. Not the smallest or thinnest, but certainly not bad at all. The Halbertech 8000's frame measured in at 24cm in height and 18.5cm in width with a thickness of 9.8mm. The 8000's frame is also complete with a fully recessed frame profile, which I've mentioned earlier on. Generally from my experience, racket frame thickness of less than 10mm generally swings pretty smooth and fast, so this Halbertech 8000 has ticked all the right boxes so far. In terms of stringing, the 8000 is a 4U model here and rated up to 30 pounds of tension. For testing, I've strung it with my usual aerobite string at 27 by 29 pounds with no issues and dry swings after stringing felt pretty stiff and responsive. Certainly a good sign here. In terms of racket feel, this Halbertech 8000 feels very fast. Head weight feels on the lighter side of an even balanced racket, even slightly headlight I might say. If I wanted to make a direct comparison with another racket, I would say that it had a similar head weight feel to the Yonex ArcSaber 7 Pro, but with a crisper, stiffer feel. I personally felt that although the 8000 is fast, it has that slightly hollow feel to it too, but because it has that little bit more stiffness to it, that hollow feeling is actually quite nice. This helps when the racket swings smooth and fast too. My experience with leaning rackets so far has been that rackets feel slightly softer or that little bit spongier when we come in contact with the shuttle. In other words, they just feel slightly less responsive compared to Yonex and Victor counterparts, but this Halbertech 8000 certainly surprised me with how well the shuttle felt during hits and how responsive it was. 
In addition to this responsive feeling, I also found that the Halberta 8000 was very good at change of angles, which I believe is greatly helped by the stiffer response. Slices, stick smashes and cross court shots were fun and pretty easy to pull off. However, you're obviously going to struggle with pure raw power with a racket which isn't head heavy, but if you have good technique and timing, you should have no problem whatsoever finding power. Because of the obvious lack of head weight, I found myself struggling with some of my dig outs deep in the rear court when I couldn't get enough height or length with it. If you're not physically and technically super strong, watch out for this. And speaking of timing, I did find myself mistiming slightly when I was testing this racket over a long period of time. I tested it over a few weeks, then stopped for two weeks before coming back to it again, and this is where I hit some timing issues. If you're coming from something head heavier like my usual Yonex Astrox 88D Pro racket, you might find yourself mistiming slightly on your first or second game on certain shots, especially the ones at the front. Overall, this is a really nice racket to play with, and certainly the first one from Leaning, where I liked the response of the racket immediately from the first swing. This is by no means me throwing shade at other leaning rackets. The other rackets that I've tested generally have a softer or laggier feel to what I personally prefer. I often find that I have to coax performance out of the racket and get used to the racket over time instead of instantly hitting it off and getting good feel and response out of the racket immediately. Obviously, I don't say this lightly, but as I was writing this, I went through all the leaning rackets that I've tested so far, and the Halberte 8000 is the first leaning racket which I've gone, yep, I like the feel of this one, and I think leaning has done a good job with the feel and response of this racket. For those of you who decides to give this one a go, let me know in the comment section below, how does the Halberte 8000 feel? you. I'm also slightly curious if Leaning would be making a slightly head heavier model of the Halbertech in future iterations. Maybe the Halbertech 9000. In terms of pro players, the Halbertech 8000 was launched late in 2022 and at the time of writing this, I was quite surprised to find no sponsored pro player is playing or endorsing it on the international circuit. In Leaning's official catalogue, the legendary Fu Haifeng was the only one who is named to be playing with the 8000. I wonder if any of the Leaning's pro players will be adopting any of the Halbertech rackets moving forward. Check out my other Leaning Racket reviews here or learn more about Leaning's full Bamboo Racket series line here. I'll see you in the next one.